Look at Bucci. This is my favorite farmer in the world. What are you doing here, Booch? What's what are you picking up now? Swiss chard. Swiss chard. Bucci recently got her greenhouse refurbished, and she is starting the season with a vengeance. She's already planting. This includes her care of her. What do you raise here, Bucci? Rabbits. Rabbits, chicken, duck, turkey, goats. She's a one-woman show. She gives farm tours. She works with boards of education. Bucci is a microbiologist by education and training. And turn to farming due to her professional and personal drives. She will also be starting to sell seedlings if you're looking to start your garden early. I know she looks like a beauty queen. <laughs> and I'm late to come and pick up stuff, so we have to go and pack. For Kajenga, my name is Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Ford. I uh, started the Vision Quest event management group in 2009, um, Red Onion events uh, in 2019. Uh, they are, <clears throat> I would say, event management groups that are very fortunate to have uh, created uh, linkages, linkages and synergies with uh, food um, groups or food organizations and I think that has saved um, you know it has uh, saved me because uh, food is an essential service and I was able to redirect um, my focus uh, from conferencing and uh, conventions somewhat to um, markets um, and uh, through my I guess personal pursuits, I think I have been led uh, to developing markets in areas that most people wouldn't want to or think it would be lucrative to set up markets. But, you know, the goal is to bring good food to good people that is affordable and culturally appropriate. Um, and um, so that's where we are now. Uh, throughout my, I guess, work, I've been fortunate to meet uh, some astounding people uh, through uh, trial, perhaps error, perhaps redirection. They have uh, found themselves uh, working for and with uh, food, uh, from farming to small businesses to chefs. Uh, to creatives, uh, that's where we are. And I think that is how uh, Ms. Perryman's group found um, our uh, market. Uh, the Courtyard Farmers Market is one of our brands. The Scarborough Farmers Market is another one of our brands. And uh, the uh, Vision Quest Event Management, one of my groups, we uh, developed the Courtyard Farmers Market in consort with a Great West Life uh, Realty Advisors in uh, 2019. That was a workplace wellness initiative. Vision Quest Event Management also was a steward of the Malvern Farmers Market, started in 2018. Finally, we launched a pilot project under the auspice of Red Onion Events last uh, um, September through uh, October. 2020 Scarborough Farmers Market. So we're working right now with the Toronto Food Policy Council, local urban farming champions such as Bucci uh, with Akachi Farms. We're also hoping to partner with Jesse from Zawadi Farms in the summer. Our, con our constant farmer, Farmer Dave, uh, 
uh, Barry's Gardens from Zephyr, Ontario. Uh, so we have a farm family that we're building on uh, to create opportunities for individuals uh, in marginalized uh, areas, uh, for the most part in Toronto, to access uh, free range, farm fresh. Um, I would say the term would be sustainably grown uh, Ontario farm fresh produce. And we are working with a number of small business partners uh, within the uh, Greater Toronto Area uh, to uh, develop some products for our markets. And uh, so that's where we are. So uh, we worked with Kajinga uh, over the past 12 weeks um, to uh, deliver courtyard farmers market farm fresh care packages in consort with uh, Kajinga uh, to deliver uh, these uh, farm packages full of produce uh, from Akachi Farms and uh, delicious uh, challah bread and uh, chocolate drizzled shortbread cookies from BTR Treats to your lovely Kajenga clients. Look at all this salad mix. What's this, Booch? Kale, Swiss chard, and mustard greens. Kale, Swiss chard, mustard greens. We have our eggs here. Beets, carrots, sweet potatoes. Look at all this. Drink a wellness package. Eggs. The mushrooms. And here we have the beets and the sweet potato. Thank you so very much. BTR Treats. Apache Farms. Kajenga Wellness Project. Um, so that's in a nutshell uh, what we uh, uh, try to do. And it was, uh, um, we would uh, meet Ruben and I from BTR Treats in the morning. He would bring uh, his fresh baked goods uh, he and his wife creates. Uh, we'd pick that up in the morning. Uh, then we would uh, drive to the farm. We would uh, meet Bucci. We would pack and pick, throw the, uh, the goodies into my van, and we would deliver uh, straight from the farm to your clients. The feedback we received was that it was greatly appreciated. Um, and I think people really enjoyed the uh, free range poultry and uh, what we were able to uh, provide during the winter months. We're here at the greenhouse. Look at these greens. Bucci, what's in here? Kale? Kale? In the... In the... Oh, lettuce mix. Cabbage, um, eggs, and then, oh, um, Farmer Bucci says Swiss chard, celery no, stick. Free range, poultry, pumpkin squash, and eggs. Thank you. Farmer Bucci. Our goal is to work in and with four communities that um, are often, I would say, maybe set aside for socioeconomic reasons. Um, we did a fair bit of studies before we launched our market in 2018. Um, and we were referring to a study by the University of Southern California where people that have um, 
more limited incomes, are more ready, willing, and able to afford a higher ratio of their incomes towards fresh food um, because A, they would uh, tend to prepare food more, B, they have larger families, and C, um, they just know they need the nutrient-dense uh, properties uh, their food or this food offers because they just don't have it in their proximity. Uh, most, uh, so we aim to set up in areas that are called food deserts. That's a key uh, reason why we set up in Malvern uh, in 2018. Um, because uh, these uh, neighborhoods in certain areas uh, don't have the proximity uh, within 15 minutes walking distance to access farm fresh food or I would say, uh, you know, good uh, produce. Um, so that's our, our impetus to work with, with and for and in these communities to uh, to make sure um, we're getting the food uh, to everyone equitably and affordably. Um, so it's been a bit of a challenge indeed. Um, it's a, I would say, a personal pursuit uh, uh, relative to the expenditure, um, but look at the long-term gain, gains, you know? So that's, that's a bit of our mission and, and reasons why. Good morning with Gabriella at the farm. And Bucci's coming out of the greenhouse shortly, packing up for our Kajinga Wellness Project Courtyard Farmers Market drop off. Thank you. Fresh eggs, fresh cheese. Uh huh. And fresh, what else? Uh, vegetables with love from Bucci's farm. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day, my Have dear. Enjoy and enjoy the healthy organic food. Thank you. And here's Bucci right so now. <laughs> Farmer Bucci. Thank you. Have a great week, everyone. Okay, here you go. That one, then one more box. And we are done. Thank you, Bucci. You're welcome. You know what? My approach to working with anybody, any community is you treat them how you want to be treated. The same dignities, the same expectations you have for anybody else, or you would want for yourself, you try to impart to other people and really try to understand, um, you know, where they're coming from as, as individuals, as people, and what we appreciate uh, politically and economically uh, taking all the isms and schisms into account. During the summer in, uh, in, in the Malvern market, we partnered with the Malvern Library. Okay. And uh, we actually ran uh, some workshops for children um, and readings and uh, little demos. Uh, so that uh, is uh, something we've done before. We also partner with Trebus Institute, uh, their event management program, and their students do quite a fantastic job of helping us solidify all of our ancillary programs, uh, such as, you know, um, visits from Toronto Public Health, or um, uh, we had a, uh, not a samba, but we had uh, an exercise uh, group coming, lots of uh, diff diff uh, different musical uh, groups coming through. So Travis is amazing in uh, helping us with, uh, with uh, solidifying that. Um, helping us with our social media. Uh, so we also try to uh, work with student populations there. 
uh, when we were at Malvern, we were at the uh, site, which is now of uh, under development, the Malvern Emmanuel United Church and their parishioners, uh, especially the Grand Dames were so important to the lifeblood of the uh, market. They just, it started out, you know, to be a lime where they would come in the afternoon and just chill there. Uh, so that was uh, really great. Um, so I think um, organically, uh, you uh, begin to develop your partners and your partnerships. Um, so those are just a few of the, of the initiatives that we have aligned and continue to develop for the market. Well, definitely last year, markets usually open the last week of May. Uh, due to the pandemic, the actual physical market, the brick and mortar market was not open until uh, mid-July, early to mid-July. Um, but before then, this time last year, we were moving our markets, both the courtyard and Scarborough farmers markets to an online mode. Uh, and that worked, I would say fairly well up until the markets actually opened in July. Then we did see quite a shift down, downward. And that showed us that the markets are very important and to be with the human animal were and are small. Um, we do our best work in the live, um, in the live, uh, scenario and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, markets will open on time, the beginning of May this year. That's the aim. Uh, but definitely, I think if I, if we had, uh, you know, maybe concentrated a bit more on the online sales, uh, perhaps, but we were bolstering more our in season. But then again, Kajinga found us, so we're, we're doing something right, right? Good day. We are here at Akachi Farms at the Courtright Center on Pine Valley Road. This is where Farmer Bucci operates. This is her greenhouse, and we're here today to see Farmer Bucci and to pick up the Courtyard Farmers Market Care Package, Akachi Farms, BTR Treats for our lovely clients in Durham. We're giving you an appreciation of where all of your farm fresh produce and eggs and goat cheese free-range poultry comes from and we're here to see Farmer Bucci. Where's Farmer Bucci? Stay tuned for more. Bucci morning! So a little bit about the team uh, as Bucci and Ruben were not able to be with us. Um, that's the life of a farmer and a small business entrepreneur, always on the hustle. Uh, Bucci uh, is a microbiologist by education and training. Uh, she hails from Kenya. She started her farm at about, I would say, seven to ten years ago. Uh, her farm is called Akachi Farm, A-K-A-C-H-I. It's located off of Pine Valley Road in Vaughan. There she, uh, I think it's seven to 10 acre farm where she grows a host of different produce ranging from uh, stinging nettles. Sounds at a catchy farm. Everyone's chilling. Literally, it is freezing. Happy Sunday. Oh. Good 
continued blessing from Akachi Farm. Kajinga Wellness Project Pickup Day. In care of Akachi Farms, BTR Treats, and the Courtyard Farmers Market. Uh, Bucci also makes soaps and cheeses. Some of our other partners, um, Ibero Farms, they are a, a, a farming family out of uh, Grimsby, Ontario. Their fruit, uh, apples and um, grapes, mm. berries. Uh, we also have uh, Berries Gardens. Uh, out of Zephyr, Ontario, Farmer Dave, and we are introducing a new uh, farming group, Zawadi Farms. And what we aim to do is to have uh, boxes uh, that people can order and uh, pick up from the market uh, for those farmers that, you know, really aren't able to uh, get out to the market. Um, so we're Devising plan, we can actually still work with these small farms, go direct farm, pick it up, the orders, and bring it back for curbside pickup at the market. Um, yes, we oh, thank you very much. And we do deliver, of course. Yes, there is a, a small delivery fee, a flat fee. Um, across the city, um, which is uh, $7.99 right now. I think we may have to revisit that. Um, but we also do deliver. Um, thank you for that. Once again, from the Courtyard Farmers Market website, C-O-U-R-T-Y-A-R-D-F-A-R-M-E-R-S-M-K-T.ca and Scarborough Farmers Market uh, dot ca spelled out info you can place your order there thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to jennifer for taking the time out of her day to make this community showcase happen